In this video, we show you how to grow perfect chili peppers every time at home. Let's begin with how to start your chili seeds. Here are our rules to get perfect seedlings that completely fill their trays. Firstly, choose your chili seeds. We had amazing success with these four varieties from Kirchhoff's. We grew jalapenos, paprikas, raja and serrano chilies. Start by filling your trays with damp koya. Koya is made from coconut husks and can retain lots of moisture. Poke holes about 1cm deep into the koya and sow two seeds into each cell. This will ensure at least one seedling germinates per cell. Cover up the seed and add a layer of vermiculite over your trays. We started our seedlings during the late winter and so we needed to keep our seedlings in a greenhouse for the first month or so. During this time we used overhead misters to keep the trays moist. Chilies perform best when they have a long growing season, so you can maximize their productivity by starting the seed in the winter time, ensuring you have chili seedlings come springtime. In these conditions, it took about two weeks for the seedlings to germinate. After the first set of true leaves have grown, you should start fertilizing your seedlings. Use a diluted liquid foliar feed once a week to nourish your chilies. The koya doesn't have much in the form of available nutrients, and so the liquid fertilizer is required to promote robust growth early on. About six weeks after sowing, the chilies were ready to transplant into larger pots. Chilies and peppers require fertile, well-drained soils. We filled the pots with a mixture of well-composted manure with a handful of slow-release fertilizer added to each pot. This combo is a foolproof medium if you want massive, productive chili plants. When transplanting your chilies, it is best to plant them deep enough so the first set of leaves is just above the soil line. This will encourage a well-developed root system. After the last frost, the chilies were moved into the vegetable garden where they received full sun throughout the day and overhead sprinklers were used to irrigate the pots. Chilies love warm climates, so they are a great option if you have stiflingly hot summers in your region. We also grew some chilies in mixed pots. We combined the seedlings with sunflower seeds. We filled the pots with the same soil and fertilizer mixture we described earlier. Seed and seedlings were first spaced out and then planted and watered in. Before we get to the results, if you are finding this video helpful, then subscribe to our channel. Here at Epic Veg, we share videos packed full of tips and tricks to get the most out of your plants. We also share free ebooks and infographics with every video so you can build a collection of veggie guides. Your ebook for this video is linked in the description. After a month in the veggie garden, the chilies went mad and flowering commenced.
encourage high humidity as much as possible during the flowering and fruit set. Dry periods at this stage will lead to flower and fruit drop, which will greatly reduce your yield. Chili flowers are bisexual, containing both male and female reproductive organs, and as such the flowers can be self-pollinated. The wind and many pollinators will help with this process, so you will likely not struggle with inadequate pollination. A month after flowering, there were loads of chili fruit on the plants and it took about 5 months in total from sowing the seed until the chilies were harvest ready. The paprika and jalapeno chilies were especially productive, so try growing those if you're looking for prolific cultivars. We didn't struggle with any pests or disease, we just needed to weed the pots on a regular basis. Sometimes, cutworms can be problematic for young plants, so keep an eye out for those and treat as needed. Overall, these plants really were a joy to grow. You can tell your chilies are ready for harvest when they start to turn red. Generally, the longer the chilies remain on the plant, the hotter they will get. So keep this in mind if you are trying to maximize chilliness. And that brings us to the end of our video on growing chilies. Before you go, remember your copy of our chili growing ebook, which is linked in the description. If you liked what you saw and heard in this video, please consider giving us a like, a comment, and subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one.